Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today's tutorial will be on this look right here. Let me just let you guys know in advance that I am announcing the winner of my 50k giveaway at the end of the video, so don't forget to stay tuned. To begin, I'm taking my Anastasia concealer and I'm using this all over the lid as a base and I also use it to clean up my brow bone. I want to make a quick disclaimer because I don't want anybody coming for me. This tutorial was only supposed to be an Instagram tutorial, but you guys really loved it and asked that I upload it to YouTube. So with that being said, I uploaded it, but the only thing is the eyeliner portion of this video is not included. So I am going to go ahead and make a dedicated video to wing liner, so stay tuned. For shadow, I'm going to take this new Bake Browns Dose of Colors palette with that white cream shade and I'm going to use this color to set my entire lid space. This is going to prevent creasing and again, just lock everything in so that our shadows are a lot more vibrant and they don't move. And let me just quickly mention that if you guys have not checked out this palette, go and check it out because it's bomb as fuck. It's so good. Then I'll go ahead and take this third shade in which is like a peachy brown it has more of a pink undertone to it but I really liked it for a transition shade so I'm using that with my dose of colors fluffy crease brush and I'm going to pretty much blend this all over the crease now you'll start to notice that I bring this all over the lid at the end I decided to use this as a lid color so it didn't really matter if it got on the lid at this point Next, I'll be taking the fourth shade in, which is my favorite color in the entire palette. It's like a burnt red brown. It is beautiful. It kind of reminds me of MAC Brown Script, but it's even better. It's more rich. If I can describe it, it's a lot more pigmented and more of a deeper, richer brown. Don't forget to continue building this up. The main tip I want to give here is that you can create a beautiful eye look by adding depth and dimension and it's all in the layering process so I am building this up and adding like un chingo de layers so that it can look really nice and pigmented going back in with the same fluffy brush I'm just going to diffuse the edges a little bit okay so with that second shade that I mentioned before which is that pretty transition color I'm just going to pop this all over the lid it's a beautiful, beautiful peachy brown. I was just feeling this chocolatey eye look. I, I really, really liked it. I feel like it's neutral enough where it's going to go with anything, literally. For lashes, I'm going to use these from Slay Lashes in the color, in the color, in the style Eyes For You. I'm just going to pop these right on. They're pretty, they're full, but they're very wispy. So for complexion, I'm just taking my Smashbox Primer Water and applying that all over my face. And then, could you guys already guess what foundation I'm going to use? This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation. It's my holy grail, my favorite, favorite foundation ever. I'm in the shade 153 and I'm just going to apply that all over. I really like the finish. This gives it's very nice, full coverage, dewy finish. And it's great for my skin type, which is more of a drier, normal to dry skin. For concealer, I'm taking this one from Japanesque, and it's actually a corrector. It's a, like a yellow corrector, and can I just say I am obsessed with this. It's really creamy, very hydrating, but it didn't crease on me. And again, I have a little bit of darkness around my mouth area, so this really helps to cancel that and brighten up without making me look like ashy. I'm extra, you guys already know, so I added a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape in the color Medium just to the under eyes like where my dark circles usually are and I'm blending that out with this Japanesque double-sided brush it's actually a sponge not a brush but it worked pretty good it was pretty stiff I'm not gonna lie but it worked I'm just kidding you don't want to do that but I had a little bit of a hard time blending it out with this with this sponge we made it work though but in all honesty I wouldn't recommend you guys pick that one up Stick with your regular brush or a beauty blender. Even this sponge here, this is the Cake and Bake from Veramona. This is a really good one. I'm using it to set my under eyes with the RCMA No Color Powder. And I like the edges. I talked about this sponge in my previous tutorial. I just love this sponge in general. I've not been too obsessed with baking lately, so I went in and dusted this right off. To contour my face, I'm taking the Hoola Bronzer from Benefit. I've been obsessed with this bronzer lately, and I'm using that with my Morphe brush to just chisel the cheekbones and warm up my skin a, a bit. 
as I mentioned before, I did all liner off camera, but the products I use will be listed down below. Pretty much it's the same exact thing I did in my previous tutorial, that prom pink glitter look. Same exact steps, same exact inner corner product. So if you're interested, I'll link that video down below as well. But for lips, I'm just taking this one from Dose of Colors in the shade Knock on Wood. For my highlight, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. And I love this glow kit. You guys can see for yourself. It's so beautiful. I use the shade Glow Getter. It's that really pretty like golden tone. I really have been obsessed with this palette. I can't put it down. If you already own this palette, leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite shade is. To finish everything off, I'm just going to add a little bit of primer water. And that's pretty much it. This is the fully completed look. I'm going to go ahead and skip over to the giveaway winner. Okay, so you stuck around to the very end. I went ahead and picked a winner at random. Well, I should say my six-year-old picked a winner. The winner he picked out was Katia Patricia, and I'll put your name right up here. I will be emailing you in the next few days, so keep an eye out for that. And I just wanted to quickly take a second to thank you guys for everything you do, your support and your love, all of your sweet comments. They don't go unnoticed. Son unas chingonas and chingones. Thank you guys for the love and just... Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you guys. And I love you all so much. There will be more giveaways. Don't you worry. 100K is our next goal. We'll see if we can get there. Hopefully by the end of the year, we'll see what happens. But again, thank you so much. And I'll see you beauties in my next one.